Next door to Yes. So, Robert O'Dean, we're very excited about this interview today. <laughs> My friend, who do we have with us today? Ladies and gentlemen, we are once again excited about this young man right here. This mm -hmm. dude is a bad something. Oh, I thought you would say Mamma Jamma. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he hails from Min Min Indianapolis, I believe, or Minnesota. We're going to find out. Minnesota. And this gentleman is producing some heat. You know the song we play with James Greer and company yeah. featuring Marette Clark Brown? Mm -hmm. This is the gentleman that produced it. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your seat. This is the one and only and the only one, Darnell Davis. Welcome to the Wake Up Morning Show. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Man, man, we are doing really, really good. And, you know, <laughs> I, I just, you know, I don't want you to think I have a beef with you. No, no beef. We, we always have, we always got beef when I come back. Yeah, right. No, no I, beef. I, I don't want to have a beef with you, but I, I just got to ask the question, you know, okay. because they, I, I had this illusion, but um, the picture that you use for your, your Zoom, uh -huh. I, I, I looked at it, and on one foot, it looked like you had no sock, but on the <laughs> other foot, it looked like you had a sock. So I just, I'm just trying to figure out, did you have one foot with a sock and one foot with an outer sock, or was it an illusion based on shadows? No, it was a shadow. I didn't have any socks on. I, there was no socks on, okay. on, either, on either side. Right. Okay, so my, my, the reason why I asked that, because that's more like a Cali uh, yeah. slash uh, Florida type vibe. Right. So I'm like okay. sitting up there, but from where you from, ain't it too cold to go without socks? Well, you you see, I got you see, I got the the, the furry ho hoodie on see? right now this right. morning because it's a little it's a little chilly here. We've actually had last week it actually snowed here already. Oh my! So, uh, but it snowed, but it's gone, and um, that just means it's 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 coming, it's it's coming back. So okay. just get pre get prepared. Okay. Well, so well, he's on the West Coast a lot, so <laughs> it's like he's bi coastal because he's always on. In California, in Los yeah. Angeles area, doing stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just gonna start off by saying, bro, and and this is this is from the heart. We love you, man. Yes, we do. Um, Thank and you, and Thank we you. we love connecting with you because every time we get together, it's like family. This is our brother, and um, and we know you're gonna bring some new heat, so we get to like drop okay. it first. So just tell us what's yes, going sir. on with you, man. Well, um, I, we are getting ready to drop our new single, No More Fear, Only Faith. That's coming off of our, our, our new project entitled The Rising, mm -hmm. uh, which will be released later on top of next year. But um, we're doing a, we have a video premiere that releases of the single uh, October 28th, and then the actual single drops November 11th. And God Radio One, you all are the first ones to play the single. Y'all are the very first to have it. Come on, yeah. and, 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 and <laughs> so um, I'm excited. You know, I, um, of course, it's always love with um, with you guys, and and um, definitely wanted to make sure that you all had the, the single first, and we're the ones to be able to debut it. And so, um, so we're doing that um, as uh, as Robert said. I'm working with James Greer and company on their new project. Mm -hmm. um, and as we just we just uh, dropped a new single, uh, I just want to say thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, featuring Marette Brown Clark. Yes. And we are excited about that. That is doing so well yes. in radio. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Greer is just amazing in the company. When I tell you what they what they're doing and what's coming up with yes. them, it's amazing. So be on the lookout, Minnesota. Listen, Minnesota, Minneapolis. Yeah. It's representing. We are coming. We want to let people know that there's real gospel music here in the Twin Cities. Yes. Right here in the Twin Cities. There's real gospel music. And uh, and Remnant, myself, Remnant, yes. James Greer and company, we, we, we're, we're making a staple. We want to let it be known that we represent the kingdom of God. Okay. So, so you done, you done sparked something in my head. What? You know. <laughs> okay. You know. I think we should have the battle of the states, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and basically have every state put up an artist and we just have, this, this is the artist that's going to represent our state for the first quarter. And 
and and the whole thing is all the states put them up, and we then we and, and then we all support everybody. You know, I love and this they have a state. Okay, this next song is coming from uh, the twenty, the Twin Cities, yeah. and this and this mm-hmm. keep going on because the one thing about it is, you know, you hear about oh, if you want to do this, you got to go to New York. If you want to do this, you got to go to Houston. You got to go to LA. You mm-hmm. got to go here. Right. But can we start celebrating right where we're from, our local, places. and then be able to say we represent and we throw our person out there and say, okay, go 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 forth. You know, it's funny, as much as I, I tease my group, they will laugh. They laugh at me every time because when people ask me, they say, where are you from? Because most people think I'm from the East Coast. I'm born and raised here in Minneapolis. Uh-huh. Okay, so, wow. so, so I, I always, but I tease and I say, I jokingly say, all from Brooklyn, you know, <laughs> my group, my group, when I tell you, they uh, they will laugh and they'll be like, you are not from Brooklyn. You know, they always do that. But as much as I joke and play, I love the Twin Cities of where I'm from. There's so much history here. Mm -hmm. There is so much music history, gospel music history Mm -hmm. that is here. Um, You know, and there are some great gospel artists that are right here in Minneapolis that uh, there are some artists that are coming up, uh, artists that have been, and the world just may not have been exposed to them just yet. Right. But it does. And and when you think of Minneapolis, you don't think of gospel per se. You'll think of Prince or yeah, you think the time. of Jam, Jam and Lewis, mm-hmm. you know, the time, the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that whole Minneapolis sound. And that sound is a part of our history and it's right. here. Um, however, on the gospel side, you know, we got Excelsior. Oh, God. Yes. Here. They're phenomenal. You, you know, you you have you have uh, the sounds of blackness yes. mm-hmm. who are here, you know, um, James Greer and Company, the remnant. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a young man also that's coming up. His name is Javante Patton. He's here as well. Javante's um, there, okay? Yeah, yeah. There's a young lady here named Kennedy Hurst who's coming. That's a, that that um, that's on the rock, on the come up. And she's actually featured on one of the songs we got on uh, my the last project we did, the uh, Songs of Revival, a song called He Is. I featured her on that. Mm-hmm. She's amazing. There's a, a lady here, Tanya Hughes that's here i'm saying I, I mean i could go on and on you know uh jamar esau and try it for christ now jamar is now in nashville mm-hmm. but he's originally from here mm-hmm. you know so many minutes minneapolis got some we got some well, <laughs> we got some heat well i want to say our program director this uh china and she said let him know we still uh i guess play his oldies so in love with you and we got the victory yeah. Yeah. She yes, so she's yes. cause she does the programming for the yes, whole entire station. Yes. And she was like said, let him know we still rocking them. And so <laughs> so she wants you to know that it's all good. Definitely. I appreciate it. I love it. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support and the love. Now is there a group that used to be there called Minneapolis Sound? Minneapolis Gospel Sound. Do you know that was the first that was well, that was one of the first groups that I started playing for and writing and producing with. Uh, back in the day. I was so, a fan. I was a fan when I was in the, college of them. So the first group that I, the very first group I started playing with was James Green Company. I, I've been playing with James Green Company since I was at least about 14, 15 years old. Wow. After after them, I started I started playing with Minneapolis Gospel Sound. We called it MGS. That's yes. what it was called. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, uh, from there, that's how I got introduced to Excelsior from Minneapolis Gospel, because Minneapolis Gospel Sound, the, the musicians were the musicians for Excelsior. Wow. And that's how I got introduced to Excelsior. See? And not only that, a lot of people don't know, but um, the Sounds of Blackness first record, some of Minneapolis Gospel Sound did some playing and singing on that project as well. So um, again, history, we got, we got, I mean, we, we got some singers and we got some musicians and, and Minneapolis has its own, it, you know, it has its own thing. If you're looking for, for, the, for us to come sounding like Chicago or sounding like the East coast or, or the West coast, it's not going to happen. It's going, we're going to sound like Minneapolis, but it still represents the kingdom. And that's what I love about our area mm-hmm. and where we're, where we are. You know, we, we have our own distinct sounds, but when you hear it, you like, oh no, that's Minneapolis right, right there. How did you get so connected to Los Angeles with Michael Burrell, Bishop Kenneth Wells, because they all speak so highly of you? How did you get planted in this area? Well, you know, Mike, Mike Burrell is my music director for, um, for Remnant mm-hmm. and, um, and just all things pretty much that I do. Um, but the way I got connected, we came actually the very first time the Remnant came to California, the West Coast, was to San Diego at a board, a, a GMWA, GMWA board, board meeting. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
and we sang at one of the one of the services Friday night. I think. And for a minute, yeah, for pressure. Yeah, so we we sang, and then what wound up happening is we wound up going to Los Angeles to do something for the, the chapter, the, the workshop chapter up there in uh, the L.A. area. With Rodina? And we, yes, with, with Rodina and Herman Jones and Calvin Rome. Tony Jones, Calvin, all them, yeah, Calvin Rome, all of mm-hmm. them. So mm-hmm. we kind of, you know, that became, you know, that's family to this day, still family. Love each and every one of them. Shout out to all of them. And, um, and I met Bishop Wells and Siobhan singing. We, we sang at the service there in LA and they were there. And I will remember looking in the audience uh, while we were up singing, I was telling the group, I think that's the girl that sang with Kirk Carr. Kirk Carr, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, little girl, little Everybody girl. say that, everybody say that. That's, that's Chief with Kirk Carr singers, yeah. And, um, you know, and so afterwards went over, talked to him, met up with, you know, introduced ourselves. And then uh, we were invited to his church. Yes. Uh, in San Bernardino. Spirit of and life. we wound up singing there. And he blessed us so well, and we just became family. I mean, yep. I mean, Bishop and Siobhan are family. That's my family. I love them um, to this day. I mean, he's always looking out, always has been looking out, and he still looks out for us today. And so, um, so yeah, so that was how we got connected to the West Coast. And then from that point on, man, I mean, it's just spread. You know, we've been to the Bay Area. Uh, we'll actually be in Sacramento November 6th right. with a Gen- at Genesis Church for their anniversary will be there the 6th of November. Um, so yeah, so once again, back coming back to the West Coast. <laughs> wow, so who were some of your musical influences coming up? Because what people don't know is that you're from the Grand Old Church of God in Christ. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. Uh, you know, I, co- of course, coming up out of the, out of the Kojic Church, the Clark sisters, yes. you know, they were, staple. they were, the, that was the, that was staple. Yes. Um, but you know, also out of the Church of God in Christ, back, back in those days, you had the Hawkins, you had the Winans, you had Andre Crouch, you, you know, you know, yeah. Um, so all of those were, were staple, were, were, were influences. Um, then you had like, uh, Thomas Whitfield was a, was a, a big he's a big influence mm-hmm. in my my style and writing just, just i love you know the harmonies mm-hmm. and the, the chord structures and the changes you know um that um and then you have like now you now you have like your donald lawrence you know donald lawrence love um uh, love donald um kurt franklin of course um uh, just from st- songwriting and, and producing standpoints you mm-hmm. know to me donald uh I try, <laughs> I try very hard to Im- implement as much of Donald Lawrence's sound into my, my group as possible, mm-hmm. but still maintain my own flair, you know, right. keep my own thing. But I just love like just what he does vocally mm-hmm. with his group and the arrangements and the production and the sound and the, the inflections, the phonetics. It's just, yeah, I love it. So, so let me tease you. Um, <laughs> um, I laugh because so many people reference Donald Lawrence mm-hmm. uh, and Donald sometimes remind me of Prince because, because, <laughs> because he, he, he's very uh, kind of like shy and everything. Uh, so the Donald uh-huh. Lawrence that everybody see up on stage, right. Uh, yeah. But when he gets out in public, he's very, you know, he is very, reserved. Uh, very reserved, mm-hmm. very shy and everything like that. So um, I would teach you, give me your best Donald Lawrence impersonation. <laughs> no, I'm not good with impersonations. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good with that. I don't know. Now, 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 brother, I want you to go ahead. And I want you to sing it like this. And and when you say right. it like this, I want you to say, you, yeah. I need to feel it. I need to... <laughs> right. But 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 right, see, he right, he hit right. some points. Yeah. Everybody he named as your influences were the influencers of Donald Lawrence. Mm-hmm. He was influenced yeah. by Andre, the Hawkins, yeah. and he was influenced yeah. by. BCS, Brenda Collins Shuro from Houston, Texas, who formed the Southeast uh-huh. Inspirational Choir that developed mm-hmm. Yolanda Adams, Angela Bennett, yeah. Reese Joyner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm yeah. I'm gonna jump in and just ask. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift the subject and talk about your style. You know. Um, okay. Uh, tell us what's influencing uh, your style today. You know, I I, I I've been looking. I I wanted to reach out and see. Is that is that a uh, fire? You know, or is that a fleece knit? You know, tell me <laughs> what is influencing your style because I see you got the twist. I don't know if they're dreads or whatever. It's I see lot. that yeah. you you're not uh 
full beard. You 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 got the undercut beard, you know. Yeah. And but then when I saw your 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 picture that you had up, I'm like, this is very industry, but I like it because it had a boldness to it. So let's let's yeah. talk about style and influence as well as how you style your group and everything. Um, I think you know, well, style for me, just whatever. I'm, you know, it's funny because when people see me like this with the with the fur hoodie and the glasses and, and the locks and whatever, you know, this is, I, this is, of course, when you presenting yourself, you want to look correct a certain way. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, <clears throat> if you see me regularly, I, I it's, it's a sweat, it's a whole sweatsuit and some sh tennis shoes, and that's mm -hmm. it. You know, I'll right. I'll keep it super regular. You know, mm -hmm. um, but as far as with the group and everything, I believe that people see you before they hear you. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And, and, and you have to present yourself in a way that um, makes people want to be able to hear you because they're going to see you first. So your presentation of, of how you look um, is key because they're going to, I remember we did Bobby Jones uh, when Bobby Jones show was, was still going and we were in the back and we had this, we did black and white, but the ladies had these, this, this print, um, print skirt they had on. And everybody was backstage and they kept saying like, oh my God, you guys look, I, I said, I'm gonna stick around because I wanna hear y'all, I wanna hear, I wanna hear y'all sing based off the look, See, you know? Um, and so, you know, in styling, you, you, you gotta rock, you know, have a style, but it, it, it's gotta be you. You don't wanna be nobody else. Right. And a shout out to uh, my, 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 my homeboy, Algernon uh, Johnson. He Los won, Angeles. my bro. Yeah, another Los Angeles, you know, I can call Al and be like, Al, I need to look for it such and such. What do you think? You know, what do you think I should do? Or give me some ideas, shoot me something that he comes through. So he really is kind of one of the main ones that kind of helps in the whole look of things mm -hmm. for us, just to keep in the style, whatever, and making sure that we are, we don't look like anybody else. Right. You know, I don't, I don't want us to be like, and, and lately, you know, after the pandemic, you know, we just kind of been real relaxed, but we have, we have, and this is a shameless plug, but we have no more fear only faith t-shirts that you can, you can get and purchase that we wear. And in the video, we have those on, mm -hmm. we have our no more fear only faith shirts and the ladies, they try to jazz it up with a little leopard print and all this right. other right. stuff, right. But it's, you know, but we keep, we keep it, we keep it us, you know, that's us. What you yeah. talk about no more fear, how are you going to yeah. make this a movement and a campaign because no more fear can fit so many people, especially the creatives. Well, well, well I want to jump in and say, because rumor has it that y'all have a little thug tendency in your group. And so that's why y'all ain't afraid because y'all got your Christian thugs, you got your real thugs. And, and when people step to you, they understand it. We don't got no more fear. What's up? <laughs> I, I I will say this. There, are, I, I got a I got a couple in there that I, I <laughs> that, that that's that been I, delivered. Every now, and, every now and then, I have to say, "All right, let's reel it back." <laughs> right, pull it back in. <laughs> but but, but the no more fear, only faith. It it is definitely. Um, um, I, I dealt with the thing. I've dealt with fear. You know, a lot of people see where we do production and we do songwriting and we we're artists. And we do this. But they don't know the backstory to come on, come on. to to um, getting to where we are, and um, fear was a big thing. I, I moved in fear in relationships. I moved in fear in ministry, mm -hmm. and um, I was reading the Bible, and it's a very familiar scripture that we 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 read and we talk and we say it, but we don't really understand the full depth of what the the text is saying. And the text says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he's given us love, power, and of sound mind, right? So then we, we like to give, and I don't want to try to take a text right now, but we like to give, we like to um, name, give everything a spirit. Correct. We want to say, oh, that's a spirit. Oh, such and such a spirit. Mm -hmm. The Bible specifically names this to say that he, God did not give us the spirit of fear mm -hmm. so then when there's fear operating in your life in any situation in any place it is not of god of not of god. it does not come from god it's not of god and what that then made me stop and say was like okay why am i being fearful to do this why am i fearful to be 
who God called me to be? Why am I fearful to operate and to move in this area wow. of ministry or wow. in this area of my life or in this relationship? Why am I fear? Why am I being scared? God did not give me that fear. Wow. Right. So I started doing some studying and I found out with fear, there's only two types of fear in your life that, that, that you are naturally born with the fear of loud noise and the fear of falling. Those are the only two. Every other fear that's in your life is a learned behavior. Wow. Right? Or it comes from something else. You know, you might not move or be afraid to do something because of rejection that has happened in Come your life or abandonment Come that on. has taken place in your life. So it causes you to move and operate in fear, but that does not come from God. Jesus. God has given us love. He's given us power and authority. So when you speak the power, you speak of the power and authority that God has given you to actually speak to situations and, and change situations, to, uh, uh, to give you authority to move and operate, to shift atmospheres. When you walk into a, a place or to a venue, when you stand up to minister, you can shift the atmosphere because of the power and authority that he's given you. And he's, then he's given us a sound mind. So when we, we walk around, we don't have to be crazy saints. <laughs> we don't have to be crazy. God's given us a sound mind. So, uh, so when I took that, the, 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 the lyrics of this song came, no more fear, only faith. I'm walking in victory each step I take. And even if I don't see it, I still believe it. There's no more fear, only faith. Wow. Powerful. Yes, you yes, you, yes. you got to take this around the country, my brother. People need to hear yes, this. Sir. Yes, sir. So, so one of the things we're working on and be on the lookout is I'm going to be doing a sermon and, and seminars on fear. We're going to be coming to going around the different cities and be doing seminars on fear. And we want to talk about this because there are people who there are people who are who have ideas. They have books. They have that that need to be written, but they're afraid to write. They're scared to do it. There are there are artists that are that are ready to be birthed, but are afraid to move in it. There are pastors and preachers sitting back afraid to start the ministry and now is the season and this is the season of this is why this project is called the rising it's the season of the rising this is the season of rising of new leaders of new generals of of of, of for, for it's it's the season for for the book to come forth for the for for you in ministry to come forth come on it's, it's the season for it that's what the season is. so that's why the full project is entitled the rising because now it's time for you to rise and shine. This is what the scripture says. It says, "Arise and shine," right? And so, um, uh, so that's what this season is, and that's where we are, and that's what we're moving in. Amen. Well, brother, we're excited. We're excited yes. about this. Uh, a couple of things have come in my spirit. We would love to be able to debut also the video. So, yes. if you get that to yes. us and tell us when, we will do that as well as you gave me an idea of a special edition show on no fear that we'll have Robert Earl Dean tap back in with you uh, yeah, to continue yeah. to uh, push this uh, thing. Lots of great things are transpiring with GOD radio and we would love for you uh, not only to take us on the ride with you, but us to take you and remnant on the ride with us because we yeah. know that you have a word for this season yes, he does. and a vision for this season. And He's we ordained sure, elder brother like yeah. you in church God in Christ. He's Amen. ordained elder. This is the church of he, God. He, he, he's ordained elder too. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. So how can people connect with you, how people can find you, and then we want you to introduce the new track. Yeah, uh, I'm on all social. Uh, it's Darnell Davis Music on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. If you reach me on Twitter, it's Darnell Davis 01 because Darnell Davis Music was taken. Uh, so, But you can reach me on Twitter. Uh, um, our new website will be up. It's DarnellDavisMusic.org. How do you spell your name? D-A-R-N-E-L-L Davis, D-A-V-I-S. The two L's. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, two L's is yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, two L's, yeah. Yes. So, so, so you can reach me, hit me up. Please follow uh, every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do a thing called Let's Talk Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We get on and we have discussions and we talk about topics and issues and different things that we deal with within the church. So please feel free, jump on. It's really taking off. And we, we get some, we have some touchy, we, 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 we talk about the elephants in the room. Yes. So we, we, we kind of go, we go there. So is uh, lace front in. beard safe? Can you be safe with a lace front beard? <laughs> Well, I did have one discussion where, where I, I, the, the topic was because of our, our tradition, 
we've made the word of God have no effect. Yeah. And when I tell you, when I tell you, it got touchy. But yeah. those are the type of things that we talk about. That we need to talk and about. And we deal with. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, with that being said, introduce a new song. We're going to rock it here on GOD Radio 1. Yes, this is the new single from Darnell Davis and Remnant, No More Fear, Only Faith. Right here on GODRadio1.com. Y'all welcome Velma Williams.